are aimed at ameliorating certain kinds of suffering and discomfort uh, without touching the fundamental structures that create that poverty. Nevertheless, it's a way in which you can do, do something immediate that can be helpful to people. And you can see the write-ups of programs, uh, programs in villages like the classic example of the digging of wells by the Peace Corps. And um, the dilemma is that in order to work in any of those agencies, you have to be silent about other things. There are things that you're not allowed to touch. But in a certain way, the large foundations were created as a vehicle for ameliorating some aspects of suffering, as long as it doesn't rock the big boats. So then that it creates the dilemma because that's one of the places, one of the few places, where you can actually use your training. You can go into the Ministry of Health back home, or you can go into an international agency, or you can go into academia. In each of these places you can do something which uh, can produce some kinds of human benefits, but along with that it can, it can also be producing harm. Um, one, one example that a lot of people in the school are faced with is grants from AID. Uh, AID is a branch of the State Department, and its, it's purpose is to further foreign policy. Um, you can see this most clearly when, asked, when you look at the question, uh, which are the countries that receive the most aid? And there'll be Egypt and Israel. 